Auburn is live in Auburn, Alabama, and we saw your shot just moments ago. Julian, we saw some lightning. What's it like right now? Yeah, we've been seeing the sky light up pretty regularly here now for the past 15 minutes or so, Chris, and the rain is starting to pick up a bit as well, but if we take you out to the radar right now, you can see the heavier rain in the area of red there still off to my west. It's making its way here, though, and it should be here within the next half hour or so. Uh, not the greatest news because Auburn University right behind me is actually still in session. There are some night classes. We have seen some students out on the streets. This is also a very busy area, in in fact, for nightlife, this is Tumi Square, and uh, Tumor Square, I should say, and this is where a lot of the students actually uh, spend their evening. So we're hoping a lot of them are going to be staying indoors tonight and not venturing out on the streets as we are mentioning winds in excess of 60 miles an hour possible with this, as well as lightning and uh, possibly even some hail. Now, earlier today throughout Alabama, we did uh, see some severe weather as well in the western half of the state. Still about 7,300 people without power statewide. Homes were damaged in Winston and Walker counties. Trees and power lines down there. That's off to my northwest. Uh, again, we're under a tornado watch here until 10:15 Central Time as well. So I know Dr. Forbes is carefully watching uh, these cells as they're coming across Alabama. And right now, no warnings here. Nonetheless, the winds are expected to be quite strong, and we're about to see all this blow through again within the next half hour or so. Chris, back to you. All right, thank you very much for that, Julie. And a lot of areas dealing with what Julie's dealing with right now. Quite a bit of rain 